Today's video is going to be on how you use a test light. So here I got this test light. It's a uh, Cornwell one. I picked it up off the truck for around 30 some dollars. Um, so I'm just going to demonstrate how you use it. Um, it's This is a six, this works on six and 12 volt electrical systems. Um, so basically all it does is you attach one side to a ground, which would be this side, and then you use the probing side to um, stick inside like electrical connectors to uh, test for power. So I'll show you on this battery real quick, just so you get an idea, and then I'll use it in a real world uh, example. So right here, obviously you connect that to ground, and then take this side and connect it to your power. And as you'll see, it lights up like that. So I'm gonna show you a few examples on where you would use this in your car to test for power. Okay, so here we are on this 2015 F-150. So I'm at the BCM where all the fuses are. Um, this is underneath the uh, glove box. So what you're gonna wanna do is connect this side to a ground. So I got it right there. Um, this does have a, this does stretch out to 12 feet. So if you can't find a good ground, you can go other places. But here's one place you'd use it to test. So say uh, you're having a problem, you think a fuse might be blown. If you don't wanna pull it out, you can find that fuse. And we'll say, well, uh, this 15 blue one right here. So you're gonna stick it in there, right there, and it lights up. And then you're gonna to wanna to go to the other side. So right there, and as you see, it lights up. Um, when you do this, you're gonna to wanna to have the key in the run position. So all the, uh, everything's active, activated, all the power for all these circuits. Uh, we'll go to this five amp, uh, 30. Um, so there we go. That one's lighting up and that one. So this five amp right here is not lighting up. So for that one, we'll probably need the engine to be running for that one to work. Um, this 20 amp lights up and on the other side it does too. Uh, so there's one example that you could use a test light. So let's move on to a, uh, a different test. Okay, so for the next test, we're gonna have the ground side on the same bolt. Uh, then we're gonna be testing this uh, 12 volt outlet here for charging your phone or other electronics. So you're gonna wanna stick it right in the middle at that circle to test it. So as you can see, it's lighting up. So that does have power. And then I'll show you, if you shut the key to the off and pull it out, uh, this does still have power, obviously, because this is one of those that will charge no matter what position the key's in. Okay, so for the last test, I'm gonna be testing for power at this connector. This is for the uh, little parking light, that orange one in there. So what you're gonna do is so the light is off right now, so I'll show you. There should be no power at either of these. So right there, not lighting up. And on that one, it's not either. So now I'm gonna go turn the key to the on position and show you that it's, or sorry, I'm gonna turn the uh, light switch on so you can see that it's getting power now. Okay, so now that the light switch is on, one of these should be hot at all times. So let's see. It's not that one, so we'll move over to this one. And as you can see, it's lighting up. Okay, so I'm done uh, showing you examples of how to use this. Um, having a test light like this makes diagnosing electrical concerns and anything like that really easy. Um, it's really easy to use uh, and it's really helpful too. Um, some other places you would use this is like switches, so if one of the wires is hot at all times, then you can put it on the ground and um, see if that switch is getting power. And if it is, chances are the switch is bad. Um, it could be uh, the ground as well, but yeah, there's more to it, obviously, but it's at least telling you that you're getting power at the switch. Um, you could use this for motor regulators, see if they're getting power. Um, 
you could use it for door lock actuators. So put it on the ground, put this out on the ground, stick this in whatever pin it may be. And then you're gonna hit the lock and unlock switch and it should flash the light uh, when you're doing that to tell you you're getting power. It won't be lit up all the time, but when you press the button, it will light up real quick and then go off. All right, so I think this is definitely a good tool to have. It makes diagnosing electrical concerns super easy. Um, and yeah, I would definitely invest in one, especially if you're gonna be doing any automotive type work. Um, even if you're not planning on it, having something like this, like a cheap one, maybe from Harbor Freight laying around would uh, definitely be useful to have, especially when you need it. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. So if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos like this.